Oh, hello there. Do you guys want to go on an adventure? An adventure in space? Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be playing Loot Rascals. Now, this is a game which is a tale of friendship, loss, and redemption in outer space. It is a roguelike, which is one of my newfound favorite genres of games. It is a roguelike set on a hostile alien world where I'll play as a survivor of a rocket crash trying to escape this planet. So this game has two main components. First off, I will be... Let's go ahead and start a standard game here. Look at this beautiful artwork! So, first off, I'll be exploring, exploring the planet, revealing its hexagonal surface, and fighting a menagerie of strange aliens, monsters, and robots. Defeating them will win me loot chips, a set of schematic cards from which I will gain my abilities. Now, if you look in the upper right, this is, it's moving around. It's actually, this is gonna blow your damn mind. Are you ready for it? Of course you are. Moving around using WASD. Oh shit! We just entered a dome. What? Look at the, the artwork. See the artwork? This is why I love indie games. Who the hell are these artists? And why aren't they like painting my walls? Because they are brilliant. Exit dome. Walk down. Okay, well that's good information. Heal fully for two tokens? Well I have zero tokens on me. Examine my mailbox. The mailbox is where cards returned by other players of your hologram will arrive. It's empty right now. Look at this guy. You can decompile any unwanted cards to produce tokens. Open your HUD, move over a card and hold R to destroy it and earn a token. You can spend tokens on the healing machine. All right, I don't know who this guy is. Hmm. Hmm. Would you like to set your practice deck for this area to your current deck? This will allow you to start a new practice game from this area. Uh, I don't know what that means. So we're gonna exit the dome. And, oh my god, we've got some aliens going on over here. It just changed from day to night. All baddies who were going to attack first in combat will now defend first, and vice versa. The best way to survive is not to get hit. Always attack the baddies with the defend first above their heads if possible. Which means I get the first attack, so... Oh my god. Alright, we got our first bit of loot! Attack! Oh, we got a second bit of loot. Who is this? Look at how weird this thing is. He's running away. Look at that, I had a five attack to his two defense, therefore I did defeat him. Dude, these things look like those giant things that the sand people ride on in Tatooine. Alright, you have unequipped cards, so... Here's the key thing. This is like one of the key mechanics of the game. In fact, I, I think it's like the second most important mechanic. Or, it's, it's a very important mechanic. I don't know which order it is, but I, I will need to learn order because, check this out. Hold decompile. All right, so this is adding to my defense, right? So I don't think, I can put them anywhere and it doesn't really do anything. These are pretty much basics. However, in column three, so anything in this column gets a boost to two, right? So let's say I want this boot helmet. I'm gonna move this. Look at my defense rating of three. It should bump up to five if my math is correct. In column. Isn't this a, is this a column or is this a column? How do I, how do I activate that? Huh, well, there goes my theory, what? Oh, it's the one above it. Okay, so I boosted my attack rating but not my defense. So if I wanted to boost my defense, I could just go like that. Maybe it only affects... Who's in the column with it? There's nothing in the column with it. I just blew my damn mind. In column. What? Guys, I have some things to learn and that's why we're on this adventure anyway. Weak. Resist? Let's attack him. Now he attacked me first, but we blocked it. So naturally, if I go through, like, as I rotate around the day and night cycle, the yellow circles indicate turns for days, blue indicates night cycle. So let's go ahead and explore down here. We are just looking for loot, really. And oh my god, what is that thing? Holy shit! Look at how good that thing's got an attack of five. Is he gonna come after me? 
Oh god, he fought me. He hit me for one. What's my overall? My overall health is four out of five. I don't know what this is. It's some kind of bird that keeps chirping. Oh my god, it killed me! Oh my god, what happened? Look at this. So this is what happens when we die. So first playthrough... Oh my god, this is really trippy. This is kind of cool, actually. Look, Barry! It's one of your little friends! Barry's been teaching me all about this fascinating liquid he brought with him. You see, my influence over your dimension is limited, so I need representatives on the ground. I don't quite have the hang of it yet, but I'm getting close. In the meantime, we'd really appreciate it if you could keep the numbers down up there. We can't have those idiots hurting Barry. Oh, and don't worry about dying. It's just a simple matter of reshuffling time. Now, back you go. Barry has so much to teach me. Your planet kind of sounds lovely, Barry. You must show me how to get there. Oh my god. Well... We do you remember right, the high? Well, line? I think you were a dead body for most of that, so I'll give you the upshot. Um, there's a there's a thing below or somewhere, and it's going to keep bringing us back to life as long as we kill the aliens around here. But what I'm thinking is, we find the big Barry head and fly it home ourselves without that thing below, obviously. So let's get looking. <laughs> so we just talked to the genie character. Uh. In 250 turns? You're alive again. Unfortunately, the thing below can't preserve your cards when it reincarnates you. You'll have to get out there and collect a new set. So we have a, a default set, it seems. Let's check. Yeah, we've got some cell throw discs, a hydra putter, blast in three blast bibs, which increase our defense. All right, well, let's go this way. Oh, see, this guy's... Strong. Why can't I detect these? Oh my god. Alright, so we attacked first. Dude, these guys are too strong. Let's go back. They've got really good attack ratings. Oh my god. Escape! Escape! Dude, look at this guy. He's got six attack. Oh wait, no. He's got six defense. Oh shit! Attack. We blocked it, thank God, because I'm, I'm literally just going on the offensive here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is see bottom row plus two. Let's go ahead and put that here. Now we got an attack rating of six plus seven. Actually, what if we just do this and put all the attacks on the bottom row in defense? It's still, might as well just do it for, I think what we wanna do is heal ourselves. Let's go back to the dome and then I think this is where it is, right? Not enough tokens, decompile cards. Let's try to decompile this one. All right, we decompiled it. We got one token. Oh, it takes two tokens? Well, son of a balls. All right, we're gonna go out into the, out here and go exploring. Try to find more cards. Dude, I love this. All right, so he's an attack, or he's defending. Oh shit, he just switched to attack. We attacked him first. He wasn't able to... Oh my god, look at this guy. He's got 51 defense. He's got two laser blasters. He looks like a squid mixed with a man. He's more squid now than man. Twisted and evil. Oh shit, he's on the attack now. This guy keeps trying to run for me. There we go, we killed him. No cards? Truly? Do we have any cards to compile? And increase our attack rating or defense rating. Look at how big that guy is. Oh my god, he's 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 hunting us. He's moving really fast. Oh shit. Oh wait, now he's now he's defending. There, we killed him first round. Okay, so that was basically in 276 turns. One or 175. What happens in 175 turns? I can't entirely figure it out. Maybe that's the whole point is to like, oh shit. Oh, we actually killed him. Ooh, let's see what that does. 
card above plus one. All right, I want... I'm going to go ahead and put... There we go. I want a little bit of added defense, so the card above gets plus one. That moves my rating. See, if I were to switch that there, it'd just be seven and three. Now I get seven and four. Bottom row plus two. So I've got five here on the bottom. So the plus two makes sense. We're going to close that. I'm slowly figuring it out. Attack! Oh, God, he attacked me first. I did that wrong. Oh, what's this? Oh, shit, it's a freaking landmine. Okay, we've got to go back to base because we're pretty much dead. And I'd lose my cards. So we're going to go back to the protective zone here. And it looks like I'm going to have to... Yeah, what would you call it? We're gonna destroy that card. And now we've got two tokens. Fully heal for two tokens. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's attack this little whisker shit. Oh, they're tur- see? Okay, now they're on attack. I got it. We're gonna wait for the... There we go. Come here, you little shits. Ooh. All right, now it's nighttime and they'll attack first. So we wait, but these guys are pretty passive in general. Attack! Ooh, okay, two more cards. Beautiful. Card above is plus two. What do we need? Probably another... Ooh, what is that? All right, now we're at seven and seven. I think that's pretty good. In 125 turns... Oh, all right, he's on the attack right now. He's about to turn to defense, that's what that means. Okay, now we attack him, and we kill him in one fell swoop. And now we've got some underpants to add to our defense. Get out of here, you little shit. You're a wook. Get, oh shit, he's plus 17. He's about to change, okay. Can we kill him? Ooh, we blocked. Ooh, okay, we're at four out of five health. That they turned out okay. This is plus two, so we're gonna put it in case of this Hydra Putter. And we're gonna decompile it, because I, I don't think we need it right now. I like the balance. Card above plus two, card above plus one. Ooh, what if we do this? Now we have an attack value of 10. We could really boost our attack if we wanted to. Let's try that. Card above plus one. So now we're at 11 and 5. Bottom row plus 2. We'll just keep that here. Look at that. Okay, so 11 and 5. We're, we're going for an offensive strategy. Let's attack these little things. Die! Oh my god, he's fast. Now he's on the attack. Oh shit, we attacked him. We blocked his attack though. Ooh. That's something new. Spend 5 tokens to detonate a huge bomb. Well... I don't have five tokens. Whoa, what the shit? Look at this thing. He's gonna snipe or something? What was that about? Oh, shit. He's laying mines. We gotta dodge that. We gotta kill this guy. Kill that guy. And then run from this guy till it... There we go. Now we can kill him. I think we're getting the hang of it, guys. This is, this is pretty interesting. Now I'm surprised... Are. Warp to dome. Oh, we can warp to the dome? That's pretty cool. What the shit? We got some crazy card right there. Drag this onto another card to give it the plasma ability. When charged up, you will be able to do plasma chain attacks. Well, then I want this one. Alright, so now we actually have an offensive ability here. So I can zap things. I'm gonna try to get up to... How do I zap? Oh, I zapped, but I missed the chain attack, but we killed that guy. All right, we got another... Let's kill this guy real quick. Kill everybody! Oh shit, he attacked first. It was a trap! Can I zap these people? All right, we can zap. Oh shit, he's immune to it, and this guy's about to fire right there. All right, we gotta, we gotta get in here. Card above plus one. Let's go with. 
let's go with this. But we do need more defense. So I'm gonna put... Now we got 11 and 7. That, that seems to be pretty good. Alright. He's got a 15 attack. I'm not entirely sure what to do because we're trapped here. The guy's gonna shoot us or we fight this guy and we still got two more night cycles. So we put ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Run! All right, now we kill this guy. Hey, you're really low on health. This would be a good time to return to the dome. Spend some tokens on that healing machine. You can warp back to the dome by holding Q. Give me a card. I'm gonna gamble. We're gonna go attack that guy. All right, let's go ahead and warp. I've never done the warp before. Travel to dome, it takes 25 turns. Holy shit. Interesting, you can warp right back to where you were the same way. It also costs you turns though. All right, we need to uh, decompile something. So that I can get two coins, because I want to keep my cards. All right, we'll heal for four. Not enough tokens. Oh, now it costs four tokens? Well, that's some shit. Can I decompile that? I've only got three tokens, so we're gonna delete this. Cause health is precedent. Now, I don't think I wanna go out over there. I'm gonna go explore down. I don't wanna use turns. I'm not sure, yeah, I guess I have been down here. Let's see, I can check the map, right? Oh, see, I should have done that prior to going out and exploring, cause bolus, bolus. what is bolus. Bolus. Oh god, he's about to get his attack value. Look at how, good, how strong his attack value is. It. Uh-oh. You've been here a while now, and corpse mites are starting to show up. If you hang around even longer, even worse things will appear. You can see how many turns until the corpse crew arrive in the top right. Below the turn counter. Okay, I do have this zap function. So we're gonna zap that guy. Dude, I love this zap function. I'm not entirely sure what happens when the corpse crew comes. Oh shit. This guy's chasing me down ravenously. Oh, we got a sniper here. Oh shit, I ran into it. There we go, we're gonna attack him. Kill him, ooh. We found something really good. Okay, these are the corpse mites, holy shit. Um, let's see what we got. Odd slot plus two defense. This is an odd slot. And look at that, bottom row plus two, card above plus one. There we go. Wait, shouldn't that? Card above plus one? Hmm. That's interesting. Now what is this? Increase max health by three? Now where do I put that? Let's put that here. This card will be stuck in the slot until decompiled, are you sure? Oh, I'm gonna put him here then. It's a sticky card, interesting. Increase max health by three. Oh, we're four out of eight, okay. Making sense now. All right, how do I kill this corpse mite? I don't have any zap function. Damn, that thing is a beast. I would like to try to zap it from afar. Okay, our zap function is back. Let's see if we can't get one of these corpse mites. It does some kind of a chain attack, right? Ooh, it killed two of them. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna wait for it to recharge. Look at that, 50 turns till more bad shit comes. Oh shit! Oh, this is good though. I've seen one of these in the tutorial. Now we're only at two health. So this thing gives me a burning ability. It's an active ability. Look at this. So now we can burn. Let's 
try to burn something. Let's burn this guy. All right, so that's charging. We're gonna run from this guy until he's on the defense and attack him. Get a nice card. Things are starting to go our way. Oh shit, run. Oh, he attacked me first, but we blocked it, fortunately. That looked like a pretty good card. This is a plus two. Card to the left, plus two. All right, I got this. Uh, man, this is tricky. Card to the left, plus two. Now, does that stack? 11. So two, so this is technically just three then. What if we put it there? We're still at 14 out of eight. I think the best we were do at 14 over nine. Twelve over nine. How do we? I thought we had like something crazy. Twelve over nine. Fifteen over eight. Hey, let's do it. We've got max health of plus three. Now I'm really gonna have to. All right. So I've got this zap ability here. Oh shit. No, I wanted to zap it. Oh my god, we almost died. We're gonna zap this thing. Oh shit, run! Burn it! What? He's still alive? Damn, that was that was close, and we didn't really get anything from it. Okay, so at this point we're gonna warp. I can't even risk. Look at all these corpse mites! That's a giant corpse mite thing coming. How many tokens do I need for this? Does that say eight tokens? All right, we decompiled, we've gotten three tokens. Eight tokens. I, I can't decompile any more cards. I don't want to. I'm at one out of eight health. This is really bad, guys. How do I get more tokens? <laughs> Here's Chef's Woes. Countless inconvenient. Tina stole my defense blender. Return it for two extra spare card slots. Oh, we saw this guy, but he was he was huge. He was a beast. We're gonna go down. Oh my god, they're everywhere. <gasps> Look at they're just hanging out outside the base. This could be it. Run inside! Oh my god. They're moving around. Here we go. We need him to die on the first try. Oh, we blocked it. <gasps> what? What was that? Look at this guy. He's stealing my shit. He, st he just stole my shit. But I lose all my cards because I die, right? I. Damn. That guy was crazy. Let's see what happens. Oh, we're getting recompiled. Okay. Uh, this is a fun game. I'm still trying to figure it all out, but I do enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Loot Rascals. We ventured out onto a strange Martian landscape, found some loot, and got our asses kicked. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know if you'd like to see more. And if you've played this, or want to play it, there will be a link in the video description. If you have played it and have some tips, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video.